welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the general show i hope you've liked commented subscribed done all the important things so today we are going to talk about finances right and so something happened i think a few weeks ago or a month ago some u.s embedded ambassador here in south africa said south africa provided russia with arms without providing evidence it was all assumptions and so forth that catapulted the south african rand to plummet to about 18 bucks now it's nearly at 20 bucks today well before today it was said that now america wants to sanction south africa and you know the whole hoo-ha reactionism of south africa this whole woke cynicism and all of that and then today i think a few hours ago or midday of today the americans come out and say there's nothing wrong with south africa and, and, uh, and america's relationship there are no sanctions i hate and this just reminds me that guys sometimes you need to calm down take a seat back and actually let things happen if they are meant to happen they'll happen i'm talking in reference to investments for instance I remember when they said we're going to a world recession i'll give an example with my silver and gold when there's a recession i celebrate i don't want to lie if there's covid i actually celebrate also if the economy is doing good i celebrate and because in almost every single situation my asset diversification is above and beyond covered in all elements so when one says uh something bad is happening to the economy i am just uh, there with the economy we will see at the end who prevails and this is just a lesson to everyone that they must cover all their bases in terms of their money i honestly don't think america can sanction south africa anytime soon because they have too much invested here they in a way somewhat we are the guinea pigs for the health for instance with the hiv and tb trials that they have in the country certain banks certain businesses flourish over south africa's um, profits and so forth so they too entrenched also our minerals they too entrenched in us for them to sanction us we are in a position where we stand to benefit from the g7 which is western based and BRICS. you obviously know we are the s and BRICS. you see so yeah, you must calm down, man. You must have surety in what you invest in because, yo, the reactionism was there. Even the precious metal industry and the Reserve Bank were saying that if sanctions happen, this is their way forward or risk management layout. And I was like, mm, guys, really over such. Yeah, it was a very interesting interaction that had happened. And then now it actually brings me to uh, us who have shares in the in easy equities, for instance. Um, when I was looking at it, I was thinking about, is it really worth it for me to say I invest in shares and then they plummet, which most are plummeting right now because of the world recession. And then when they retrace back and then they start being in profit, is it really worth it for me as a person to continue investing in it because phew, when i look at it man it's like it's like you're moving backwards but then slowly and you run away you think that's just because there's movement you think it's positive movement and i'm like mm, do i really want such a system for myself and yeah i will re rethink my portfolio and so forth over the um, next few months and devise a more aggressive strategy because mm, honestly i don't want to depend on easy equities as my form of investment and in like major indicator it needs i need more aggressive stuff so probably i'll be more aggressive with my precious metals and so forth going on but when i look at things man mm, it's not really promising the buy easy equities i know they say buy and hold in three years or in five years but then the surety of saying that those certain businesses will survive because america currently is has reached its debt limit either they plateau to the bottom or somehow they increase their line of debt or credit but if they do that then surely it brings in other repercussions for me as an investor myself so one needs to weigh in all those options and think about it because mm, guys it's a bit hectic there 
And also that ambassador that, that spoke without basis and facts, that was very dangerous of him. I honestly hope they fire him because these are human lives that stay granted South African lives, but we are human beings just as much as everyone else. So we can't be treated like that. We are not um, objects. We have very significant meaning amongst every other thing. So they can't do that to us. Um, yeah, and it also is a reminder to us that your diversification must literally be as strong against any and every single indicator because we can't just say, I'm going to buy the dip, buy the dip. What if it keeps on dipping and then it's foreclosure for the company? You need to think straight. We need to... There's no what if. We are in the what if stage, you see. So but those are one of the key factors that one needs to look at, you see. Besides that, that's all that one needs to be mindful of, generally. And then lastly, um, I was having a conversation with someone who just said they have a child and then unfortunately they're going to raise a child by themselves. So I was introducing them to precious metals. And then I had to give the example that there are certain demographics which when the kids go to varsity, they are financially sorted. And then they asked how, when, why, all these things. And then I gave the example of precious metals. Your child is born. Um, every single month, you decide to buy precious metals uh, using installments, which um, RN Berlin does. Um, for instance, I think you pay 300 bucks for 12 months and then you own five silver coins. Um, something like that. But yeah, they do that. Which is very helpful so imagine you do that for all 18 years of your child's life that is that is a blockbuster move and it's very revolutionary because when your child gets to varsity whatever the profits i promise you in 18 years gold and silver will be definite um, form of resource so obviously it continues to increase in value it will be worth a lot you cash it in you give your child decent start Actually, not a decent start, a very good start, because most of the people in varsity, they had to start from a disadvantaged position and then only recover after start working. After working, they must fix home after this, is that. It's continually different things. But then if you're smart about it, you take every single opportunity that's given to you and you capitalize and maximize every single chance that there is. So... Yeah, it's one of those things that you need to be cognizant of as a person. Uh, besides that, ladies and gentlemen, we need to be smarter than anything else because this financial system is very crippling. It wants you to keep working for it more than anything. So any and every chance you get to grow your money and be smart about it, do do that um, for yourself, for your family, and most importantly, for the future. Because as, as much as there's um, no financial certainty for the future, you can be certain that if you are investing in the right things, you will be rewarded over time. Because time flies, people. Mm, time flies. So you need to move with it, but it mustn't negate how you move, you see. Anyways, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this financial segment of my channel. Uh, I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe, and then tell me what other financial discussion we can have. Because um, it's very interesting there by finance. A lot of things all happen and they all impact us. So you can't be ignorant. Besides that, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.